Uh, so, still in the West Fjords, has been once again very rainy and cloudy. Pretty much after I finished the last video shooting the puffins, it started raining like immediately with the last photo I took. Then the storm came and the rain came and I had to run to my car and I was pretty much the end of it. So I think I will now leave the West Fjords and drive a bit more east. Mm, check out some other locations. The car is very dirty because there are a lot of sandy roads, gravel roads. Uh, whenever it's wet then the car is just getting dirty in no time. And the rain is not strong enough to wash it off. It's just like light rain all the time. And I think that just makes it worse. It makes it a really thick layer of mud that you have to deal with. So yeah, uh, definitely need to get rid of it. Probably half of the road is on my car. Now the back. I think the rear is the most important part. Especially the bumper here. And the nicest plate maybe.
Man, I love this place. There's nothing better than fresh sulfur in the morning or in the night. I really like the mud pools. The sound of it, the smell of it, there's nothing better. Maybe the sunrise will be good for some photos. And then I want to go to a cave. I saw some images of this one. This one could be interesting as well. And then I think I call it a day for this night. That sounds weird. Iceland officials should do something about the wind. It's 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 not inhuman. Not nice. I don't appreciate it. Maybe they should just build a giant wall. Trump style. Giant wall in the center of Iceland so that it blocks like all the wind. Yeah, go work. So drove a bit further down the road. Like there are so many places at Maivatten. I don't know how to pronounce it. Maivatten, Muvatten. I don't know. So hole in the rocks. Looks like the cave. Or one of the caves. And tourist information tells me about the risk of falling rocks. So here we have an entrance. Let's see what this is made of. Very warm in here. I think in the winter time, in the winter time, you can just camp in here. It's really warm. I think the tourist board said that it's around 45 degrees Celsius, so that is quite warm. I don't think I can bring the camera down here because there's so much moisture in the air that the lens would condensate immediately. But I can try anyway, let's see. Alright, so let's have a look at that thing. Put it a little wider. This is on top of the cave and there's this huge crack. Looks like that the uh, rocks just fell apart and that buried that cave down there. 